Release the Kraken! Wow. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, I gotta be honest with you. Up until a couple of years ago, I never even heard of this monster called Kraken. But now, I can't even seem to get away from it. I see it in movies, video games, TV ads, and most of all, my inbox. So what is this big ocean monster and what do we know about it? Well, guess what? My good friend Sam at the BMA's channel has been hard at work on this and has come up with a list of some really amazing facts. I'll be back at the end of the video with my own thoughts, so don't go anywhere. Now here's Sam. Thanks, Bill. Nordic folklore speaks of a massive squid or octopus-like creature that is said to haunt the icy oceans of the North Sea. They were said to attack passing vessels with gigantic tentacles, and multiple people claim to have spotted this mythical creature. So, here are a plethora of facts and discoveries about the Kraken. Amazing! <laughs> Number 10. The Kraken's Origins the history of the Kraken goes back to an account written in 1180 by King Svere of Norway. As with many legends, the Kraken likely originated based on sightings of a real animal, the giant squid. Back then, any encounter with an unknown animal could gain a mythological edge from sailors' stories. After all, the tale grows in the telling, especially when that tale involves a slimy, dangerous creature that has been known to attack humans and boats, even as recently as 2003 when one attempted to take down a French sailing yacht. However, as giant squid aren't likely to surface, others claim that volcanic activity is a better explanation for these myths. Underwater volcanic activity is common around the Norwegian Sea, creating bubbles and dangerous currents, which can easily be interpreted as a monster in the depths. Number 9. The Legend Developed as word grew, the Kraken legend evolved with hearsay. Many tales talk of THE Kraken, but sometimes there are stories that mention multiple giant cephalopods. They worried about Krakens making whirlpools in the sea that could suck their ships down. Norwegian natural history books even claimed that sailors would foresee a Kraken's approach with fleeing sea life, and they apparently also used Kraken feces to attract fish, but then the Kraken itself would appear and eat the fish. How they even discovered Kraken feces, I have no idea. But because of its sheer size, the Kraken is now sometimes interpreted to have magical powers, but it didn't originally. Number 8. Scientists believed it existed. Prior to the 1870s, scientific opinion held such creatures as nothing more than ridiculous myths, a par with mermaids or sea serpents. Despite this, investigations into the existence of the legendary Kraken took place as early as the 1840s. Eventually, the Kraken myth grew so strong that it could be found in Europe's first modern scientific surveys of the natural world in the 18th century, such as the first edition of the groundbreaking Systema Naturae. Number 7. It was believed to sink ships. Other zoologists, such as Pierre Denis de Montfort, studied giant cephalopods in the 1700s. After hearing accounts from captains of giant tentacles being discovered and went on to cite old pieces of artwork and ship disappearances as evidence of these beasts. After 10 ships went missing in 1782, de Montfort made the bold assumption that the Kraken was to blame. The boats were truthfully lost in a hurricane and his reputation was ruined. Number 6. Google Earth Kraken Swimming off the coast of Deception Island near Antarctica, some have claimed there is a kraken-like creature visible using Google Earth that seems to be over 100 meters long from head to end, with an abdomen similar to that of a giant squid. The Google ruler measures the abdomen as around 20 to 30 meters long, meaning that the creature is far larger than any giant squid can reach. However, even though it looks deceptively similar to a kraken from a bird's eye view, on closer inspection, this is just a huge rock. Similarly, older legends also tell of sailors that mistook the creature for an island, but instead of simply debating the picture online, they were said to actually sail towards it. They were probably just on a quest for some nice calamari to put on their stale bread. Number 5. Other Sea Monsters Kraken aren't the only bizarre, dangerous nautical creature in mythology. Not only have famous intellectuals such as Aristotle and Pliny the Elder 
written about such monsters, tales of enormous squids have circulated throughout the world since ancient times. For example, creatures such as the Lusker came from the Caribbean, Skeela came from ancient Greece, and the Sea Monk came from medieval Europe. Number 4. The Giant Squid We can't talk about the Kraken without explaining more about the creature its legend originated from, the Giant Squid. These beasts have powerful beaks and hunt deep sea fish and other squid species. They are also fast and powerful swimmers, growing up to 13 meters long, and they also have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom, except for perhaps the colossal squid. Although the colossal squid is just as large, it didn't inspire the kraken because it roams the southern ocean and tails originated in the northern hemisphere. Overall though, this creature is very elusive, so very little is known about the giant squid. Number 3. Revived Evidence In 2011, paleontologist Mark McMenamin presented evidence of a bizarre arrangement of vertebrae from an ichthyosaur skeleton found in Nevada. The bones were discovered in patterns similar to the way that octopuses place the bones of their meals. Even more interestingly, one discovered ribcage shows signs of constriction, as if a large tentacle was wrapped around it. Ichthyosaurs were huge, at around 30 feet long, so it would have taken a very large cephalopod to catch and eat it. However, this evidence is still widely disputed, with many instead blaming current or movement from scavenging bottom dwellers. Number 2. Kraken in pop culture For a mythical creature, the Kraken gets a lot of attention. From the 13th century to modern times, you can find the monster in poems, novels, television shows, video games, and of course, movies. The most famous of which is arguably the Kraken from the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's likely that the Kraken in At World's End cost many millions to create with CGI, even though it only appeared on screen for a few minutes in total, being one of the aspects that propelled the film as the most expensive of all time. Time. The creature is so ubiquitous, it's even been used in insurance adverts. Although interestingly, the modern depiction of the kraken as a giant squid isn't entirely accurate. Earlier accounts of the beast described it as having spindly appendages like a crab's. Number 1. Clash of the Titans Myths Clash of the Titans is somewhat entertaining as a popcorn flick, but students of the Greek classics will probably feel their brains explode at all the liberties taken by Hollywood. In the myths, Zeus didn't release the Kraken to destroy Argos for its insolence, and worst of all, the Kraken isn't even of Greek mythology. It comes from later folktales from Norse legends. Basically, this just proves that Hollywood likes to make up its own myths. So Bill, do you think there's any truth to the Kraken myth, or are they really just giant squids? I'm curious to know what you think. Hey, thanks, Sam. That was a great report, as are all the reports on your YouTube channel. Guys, if you want to see some really cool videos, be sure to stop by Sam's channel and tell him Bill said hello, okay? I'm going to leave a link right up here and in the description box, okay? <laughs> That's marvelous. Now, as far as my own opinions on Krakens, I'm gonna go with fake, because krakens for me are kind of like mermaids. I think they grew more out of legend than they did fact. My guess is some sailors saw a giant squid that looked more like this. But over time, as is the case with most fish stories, the monster just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Until now, it looks like this. Okay, well that's my two cents. Now I want to know what your opinion is, either real or fake, okay? You can vote right up here, or you can leave a comment in the comment section. I hope you do both. See you next time.